The Blooming Buds of May Part 3 Previously on The Blooming Buds of May Mayflower 400 Activities Coordinator James has to announce that the COVID-19 outbreak means that the celebrations will be delayed and take place in a slightly different way than planned. James phones around the community to announce that everything will now take place online. Everyone now has to rethink the Mayflower 400 activities for the village. Some members had some very interesting thoughts on the whole occasion. Kids, Poppy and Amelia, make fork biscuits to share with the community. They drop them door to door and announce the long-awaited Zoom call for the committee to make the final decisions on the virtual Mayflower celebrations. Now you're all caught up, here's the next chapter of The Blooming Buds of May. close to the fence. Are you okay? Yes, yes, all good. I was just picking up a pen and attempting to find a notebook. It doesn't matter. I haven't found a notebook for the last six months. Probably a sign. A sign of what? That I'm losing my marbles. Or what I once enjoyed has completely disappeared under the weight of lockdown. Oh, biscuits. Tea. <laughs> yeah. We brought biscuits, Bob. Poppy, can you find the last batch in my bag? And we wanted to. Remind me of the Zoom thing. Yes, Margaret has already phoned me to explain that she wanted her boat to be a surprise and not to say anything until it's revealed. What do you bring into the meeting, Helen? Cake, 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 We're cake. going to talk about our biscuits. I'd better get the girls home, Bob. Clearly, we should have made cake instead of biscuits. Fork biscuits, not just biscuits. I'm sure I will enjoy them with a cup of tea, Poppy, whether they are biscuits or fork biscuits. It does matter, Bob. Words do matter. That's true, Poppy. Oh, that's given me an idea. Right, well, lovely to see you, Bob. Come on, girls. The biscuits are on the step, Bob. Fork biscuits, Bob. The fork biscuits. Hi, Cathy. Great to actually see you after all these months of chatting. You're the first one here. Are the others coming? No idea, James. Helen and the kids mentioned it earlier, so I hope so. Be a bit slow with us just coming up with the ideas, isn't it? Oh, Margaret, yeah. Let me, let me just let her in. Alan probably won't come. He don't say out. All right, my love. Just us, is it? For the moment. Oh, oh yes, Bob. Hi, Barbara. Right. Yep. Someone's Lovely. saying something, but I can't see her. Chris, come here and do this zoomy thing for me. Oh, there we go. Just us, is it? Thanks for coming, Barbara. We will just hang on. Oh, and Helen's in the waiting room. Oh, sorry I'm late. Still sorting tea time. Hello, Bob. Oh, hello again, Cathy. No, oh, yes, not, we know it's all about Hello, please, don't feel bad. OK, OK. Hello, hello. Well, Can you all hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Oh, my Barbara, goodness. you're on mute. Oh, right, hold the camera. Oh, oh do I take it off mute? <laughs> Press the microphone thingy, Bob. Oh, right. Can you hear me now? Yes, thanks, Bob. Can we get this moving? I've better things to do. Alan, get in here. You're missing things. I'm going to try and put the kids to bed at the same What's time. That, Alan? Margaret is yelling from her living room. I can hear her from up the Night's room. Nice kitchen, Bob. Got new Put towels, I see. Bed. Oh, no. Poppy's whining. Give me two minutes. I'll be right back. Oh, OK, everyone. Thank you. Would it be OK to start now? Sure, Shallon. I can't get a word in edgeways. You rittering on? Go sit in the kitchen if you want. Go ahead, Mr James. Yeah, start without me. I'll catch up. I'm yeah, just yeah, putting... Yes, thanks, Alan. Kids to bed. Got it. Great. Hello. Thanks all for coming. So there's no agenda really, just going to jump straight to it. Just an apology from Jill who can't make it, but she has knitted some boats for whatever we come up with. We're going to need some ideas from everyone else as well as for the big Mayflower. Uh, right, I'm events. back, what did I miss? Where do you think he's from then? Not round here. Must be from up London. You are not on mute. Don't worry, let's get straight to ideas. Anyone? Where in Scotland are you from? 
Not Scotland, Swansea. Ooh, Wales is lovely. Cousin Jean lives up that way, doesn't she, Alan? I have some ideas, but not sure. This is a shamble. Do I have time to get a glass of wine quickly? Serious, Helen. Are you here or not? Come on, Mr. O'Fisher. Ooh, Jane. white or red, Helen? Get them together. Thank you. Thank you. OK, let's start with you, Barb. Any ideas? Wait, tonight we had fish for tea, so got it left Ooh, over. Oh, lovely. It's more of a question, really. No more blooming questions. Yes, go for it, Barb. It, well, it's a serious one, really. We know everything has changed over the last few months. And I just wondered, well, I just wondered if we were ever going to actually need to meet together. Well, I can't really comment on that. It, it's not in my remit but i am here to try and gather the community's ideas to bring to the event when it does happen for example someone could sing us a song kathy has told me she is a great singer or is anyone up for doing some art or some kind i'm sure the girls would sing a song they're really good at big alan it's boat time get the boat alan and i would like to present something very special i'll give you three clues oh just show us some of us don't have all day. It's something that sails. Right. So it's the Mayflower ship. Oh, Barb, why would you give it away? It's made from something milky. Milky? Have you made a boat out of milk? No. Oh, Alan, just show them. Ta-da! Oh, oh what, what is it? Turn it round. It's the Mayflower made of milk bottle cups. Isn't it clever? Alan's skills earned him a blue Peter badge in the 60s, didn't it, Alan? Yes, the secret is using a very good... Oh, 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 sorry, Alan, you've frozen, so we missed what you said. As I was saying, the girls can sing a song. Oh, go on, then. I've got this song in my repertoire. La, 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 la. OK, Cathy, you sing the song. My girls could maybe bake for everyone. What's the point? It will probably happen on Zoom. This virus ain't going to shift by then. Can't do e-biscuits, can they? And anyway, if what they baked earlier is anything to go by... <laughs> <laughs> sure, Shallon. Right. OK, then, well, right, my idea. I must have it here somewhere. I wrote it down on a piece of paper this afternoon. Hmm, sorry, it must have been put somewhere when I was tidying up the kids' homeschooling work today. Sorry, it's been a very long day. I can probably remember most of it. It was something along the lines of getting all the local children to create a piece of artwork and then we can make a giant montage to display in the guild hall. We could give them all a section of the boat to colour in and when it comes together, it makes up a picture of the boat. I had an example, but I can't seem to find it. Oh, it must be... My wine. Oh, for... oh very quick with the mute button there, James. Impressive. Um, are you okay there, Helen? I'll just email my idea. Great. Just conscious of time, and I really need to be able to present some ideas back to the Mayflower Steering Group tomorrow. So before we wrap up, has anyone got any thoughts or something they can bring to the uh, commemoration? I don't like to blow my own horn, but I think I've got something. Amazing. Go on, Barbara. Please tell us your idea. Well, I can only really share it. I've been struggling a bit with being creative. And every time I think, yep, today is the day, I can't find my blooming notebook. So this is from my best friend, Rosemary. Flowers of artistic beauty are still growing up, even if mine are still seeds laying in wait. So, yeah, this is what I have. On reflection, a government order to isolate did not leave me feeling great, but if it is the safest way to keep the pandemic at bay, then I'll use this time of leisure to do some things that give me pleasure. Reading, crosswords, TV viewing, will be some things I'll be doing. Looking back on life, I find lots of challenges come to mind. Diphtheria, boils, flu and fleas, I endured all of these. Those dark, damp shelters where we stayed through many a terrifying air raid. I am quite fortunate to be isolating comfortably.
Blooming Buds of Bay was written and produced by By Design Theatre. Funded by Vital Sparks Community Mayflower Fund in partnership with Age UK Plymouth. Cast members are from 6 to 89 years old. All recordings were made over the phone from the safety of their homes during the height of the pandemic. James was played by John Williams, Margaret by Joan Wills and Alan by Steve Carpenter. Kathy was played by Sue Vince, Helen by Lynn Hodgson, Jill by Alexandra Grant and Barbara by Rosemary Crawford. Our two youngest cast members were played by Millie Felgate and Jack Rankin as Poppy and Amelia. The journalist was voiced by Charlie Rankin, Ryan by Ryan Wills, the synopsis by Ashley Edwards and introduction and credits by Julia Antrim.